Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, let's get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's happening for Cancer. What's going on for Cancer? How is Cancer coming into the week? The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happy, content, good drink, good food, good friends, maybe even good sex, just really enjoying life's pleasures, uh, luxury, if you will, uh, leisure, very nice. All right, let's see, what is the advice? You could also be hoping and wishing for something. The advice is the Ace of Pentacles opportunity, um, opportunity for wealth, opportunity to grow something, opportunity for a new relationship, a new foundation. You may be coming into understanding your true potential um cancer something big may have manifested in your life it was made real you bought a car you bought a home you bought this you did this and now you're understanding your true potential that you can actually do it or do this um with the ace of pentacles showing up so that's really good um this is opportunity for a new sexual encounter and you do have sex coming up with the nine of cups here also um, it says that things could go fast it goes physical quickly okay um you could be starting a garden or starting strength training or trying to get healthy what is the outcome here what's the outcome okay so the outcome is the queen of swords and the seven of swords so this could be spying some of you this is like hoping wishing for opportunity with something or somebody who cut you off um somebody who is trying to go undetected maybe in terms of you you can't feel them you can't feel their energy you don't know where they are or this is you this is what you're doing in terms of another person uh, for some of you with the outcome being the queen of swords and the seven of swords you need to keep your plans to yourself you need to trim the fat where the fat needs to be trimmed it looks like you're having a really good time spending a lot of money doing what you want to do but the queen of swords is about you know making executive decisions cutting out what is not serving what is not valuable what is not adding value you know um it could be in terms of a relationship it could be in terms of just maybe again spending habits eating overeating overindulging health uh, the queen of swords can sometimes come off as jaded um she has been pushed into spirituality by way of the life experience so she's she's uh gone into spirituality trying to um you know get life's questions answered all right the seven of swords um some of you need to revise plans or make a plan or a business plan or you need to do something or you're trying to maybe even go around this queen of swords and be undetected that's the outcome here or someone is doing this to you it could be a little bit of spying you're the subject of gossip someone is asking around about you it could be you you get the chariot coming up at the bottom of the deck it's like and the chariot governs the sevens so that could be you you know um might need to keep your business to yourself you could be um, focused on business because the chariot is definitely focused on themselves development keeping you know tight strong control over emotions and thoughts because they're trying to get some short-term goals accomplished so that could be you it could be someone else that you're dealing with they're coming up as that energy not even really concerned about love charity is not the best card that you can get for love because this is a very self-centered self-focused self-directed energy it doesn't really um involve anyone else it just involves the person um, this is also uh divination this is astrology this is using planetary placement to actually get something done this is somebody who could be an astrologer this is someone who at least understands that this could be exercise this could be get you gain weight fast and then you lose it fast this could be how you're showing up you need to come up with some type of plan of how to you know exercise there let's see what the cards what the angel answers have to say for you uh cancer let's see what's going on for my cancers good reading overall uh, let's see cancer what's happening for kids okay romance okay so it's like you are being you know maybe romance you do have the nine of cups showing up at the beginning of the week um yeah 
Okay, you have the Nine of Cups showing up at the beginning of the week with the Ace of Pentacles, so opportunity for a new sexual encounter. There could be rom romance happening for you. Um, but then at, at the end of the week, I don't know if, if somebody is questioning, you know, if somebody really wants to be the lone wolf, someone likes romance or the newness of romance, but they don't want to have a relationship, okay? Yeah, a year from now, something could be different or things will be different. Or you're trying to plant seed, especially with the Ace of Pentacles showing up so that things can be different. Maybe you're trying to, this could even be proposed, pop question, or you're trying to do something. You're trying to get or go unnoticed. You have the Great Fortune showing up. Um, definitely going to be fortunate. Wow. In some relationship. It's like. What is this about? I'm curious now. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords for um, Cancer? What is the Seven of Swords for Cancer? What is the Seven of Swords for Cancer? The Page of Wands is like, yeah, somebody's trying to surprise the element of surprise, excitement, um, new news, promotion, starting something new. This could be a new business. This could be just living life on your own terms, dressing different, dressing regal, royal. Um, okay, it's like somebody's really trying to, yeah, um, magician, bring something into fruition, a uh, new way of living, new friends, could be proposal, yeah, with the uh, lover's card, with the two of swords, this opportunity for reconciliation, maybe after a break in a relationship, somebody comes back together. It's like somebody's got their eye on you. They know that you are the one or you know that they are the one. Somebody's not letting this go. And someone's saying a year from now, things will look different for us. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know down below how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can also purchase one of the amethyst bracelets or the black tourmaline bracelets. If you're going through a healing situation or you're trying to heal something in your life, the amethyst bracelet is good. Black tourmaline for protection, protecting ideas, protecting yourself. Um, the link will be below also. Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Also, join the uh, channel here. Uh, the join button is either on your PC. It could be showing up for you on your phone. You can join where you get access to all the extended readings. You get access to the videos first. You also can ask uh, me, yours truly, one question each and every month. And then I have another tier where you can ask two questions. Take advantage of that. Uh, check that out. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.